All right. Hey, um, BSP family, uh, as I just said, I just started the recording. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about some inexpensive ways to use your book to double or massively more increase your income. That's not very good English, but don't worry. I'm not the guy that writes your book. Okay. I'm the guy that helps you make money with your book. Um, so I'm going to talk about several of those things. And as always, as I said, I'm going to go Facebook live in just a second. And, uh, that way I can use, uh, I'll uh, open it up, of course, to any questions that you guys have after I close out the Facebook book live. But this is something that you should be doing to build your audience on a regular basis. It's something that I do and it's something that I do that is free that helps me generate leads and make money every single week using it. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now and then start teaching with it. All right. Hey, everybody. Rob Cosberg here with Best Seller Publishing. Good to see everybody in the Facebook universe. Uh, I am on, as always, or almost always, with my uh, Best Seller Publishing family. Uh, and we're going to be talking today about inexpensive ways to use your book to double your income or massively more than double your income. Um, I use some of these simple ways to do over a million dollars in income the very first year I wrote my book, which was 10 years ago, uh, back in 2008, almost 10 years ago. So here's a couple of things that you need to know as we get started. First of all, to print something like this, to have your own best-selling book and print it, okay, is only $250 to $3, okay? Something super high quality. These are books that we've done for our clients. Something super high quality, that you can get with print on demand either through CreateSpace, Amazon Sister, uh, Ingram, etc. I mention that, and you say, well, Rob, I already know that. I mention that because it always astonishes me that people who have spent the time and energy and effort to actually get a book written, which is the hardest part for crying out loud, don't work hard to get this into their ideal client's hands for free. Give it to them for free because it only costs you $2.50 to print it and another buck to ship it to them. It blows my mind that, that many people, most people in fact, aren't doing everything in their power to get their book into as many people's hands as possible that could, in exchange for that $2.50 book, give them $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, and et cetera. So first, who am I speaking to? So Primarily, bestseller publishing helps coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, um, brick and mortar business owners, financial advisors, attorneys, doctors, dentists, chiropractors, you get the idea. If you're writing a book of poetry, if, if you're writing uh, a children's book, can you make money with that? Yes, but it's much harder to make money with that because you're going to rely on royalties. And I'm going to talk to you for the next few minutes on how you can use your book, giving it away for free to make millions of dollars. And, and I'm not exaggerating. I've made millions of dollars giving away my books, giving away my clients' books, uh, and many of my clients have done the exact same thing. So first and foremost, that's what we're gonna focus on. So let me give you several really easy and inexpensive ways to make a ton of money. And I have some notes here uh, that I'm gonna be going over with you guys. So first and foremost, you have to think in terms, okay, what are you doing right now to attract leads and close sales in your business? Okay, I don't know the answer to that. Um, you may say, well, I don't really do very much. I, most of my business comes from word of mouth marketing, which unfortunately that's true for many business owners, uh, or perhaps it's from networking of some kind. And here's what I would say to you. First, first of all, if that's all you're doing to grow your business, then you're always going to hit a cap. And you're probably going to have these, you know, rises and dips in your income on a regular basis, like a roller coaster. Because if, if you don't have some systematic way to generate leads and close sales, then you're going to be facing challenges. So you need to add, what I'm going to share with you is for those of you doing word of mouth marketing and networking, I'm going to share with you how you can use your book because you should be using your book in every conversation that you have in a networking sense and in every conversation with a potential client. You should use your book 
and you should get your book into their hands as quickly as possible. If that's all you're doing, then you need to add some of the other things that I'm going to share about, like paid traffic, speaking engagements, and et cetera. So first and foremost, let's talk about networking. If you're growing your business and you attract clients by networking, you go to networking groups, you meet with other CEOs or executives, and, and you look to be, in, be involved with them and network with them, then what you need to do is you need to find a way in your networking conversation to get to your best-selling book as quickly as possible, okay? Now, I've shared this before, but I'll share, you know, uh, uh, just a two-minute or so script, if you will. If someone asks me what I do, and let's say I'm at a networking function, and, and they ask me, well, Rob, what is it that you do? And let's say I don't want to talk to them, okay? Uh, let's say I'm tired. I don't feel like having a conversation. I'm going to say something like, I'm a publisher, okay? Because they think in their minds, they know what a publisher is, so they're going to go, oh, that's interesting. And then they're going to want to talk about themselves, right? So if I don't want to have a conversation with them, I tell them I'm a publisher. If you're a financial advisor and you don't want to have a conversation with someone, tell them you're a financial advisor. If you're an insurance agent and don't want to have a conversation, tell them you're an insurance agent. If you're a coach and don't want to have a conversation, tell them you're a coach. You have got to create something more intriguing and curiosity provoking and networking to have a conversation. So if someone does ask me what I do and I want to have a conversation with them and I'm at a networking function, so I should, and they say, well, Rob, what do you do? I will say something like, well, we work with coaches, consultants, and I'll, I'll make sure to add in their specific um, job, you know, their business financial advisors, attorneys, dentists, doctors, entrepreneurs to create meaningful celebrity in their business and by doing so attract to them an endless stream of new leads and make closing sales easier than ever before. Well, they say, well, what, what would you say to that, right? You might say something like, well, how do you do that, right? Because now I've used terms like meaningful celebrity and I've talked about what I do is use meaningful celebrity and help them achieve meaningful celebrity to attract clients, close deals, and get more leads than someone knows what to do with. And they're immediately, they don't get that. They, they want to know how I do that. So what I then do, because they're going to ask me a question like, well, how do you do that? I'm going to say, well, what we do at Best Seller Publishing is, um, and I'm going to find a way to fit in my book or one of my clients' books, because I often talk about my clients' books, so that they have curiosity about my book. And I'm going to ask them, hey, would you like me to send you a free copy of my book? I'm not going to have a bunch of free copies at a networking thing. But what I want is I want to create this initial conversation that creates some curiosity. And then I want them to want my book, right? Because Again, now this is somebody, I've already kind of predetermined I want to talk to this person, right? I'm not trying to give my book out to, like candy to anybody that will take one. I want to give my book out to someone I've already pre-qualified. And if I'm in a networking thing, then I've already pre-qualified them in some way. This is an attorney. This could be a potential client of mine. This is a doctor. This is an entrepreneur. This is a coach. This is a consultant. I want my book in their hands because when they get my book, they're going to they're gonna see me in a different with a different set of eyes than before. So again, you're not trying to get your book in everybody's hands. You're trying to get your book in the right person's hands because you're going to have to spend money to get your book to them. So in a networking meeting, what am I doing? I am creating curiosity and I'm driving them to my book as quickly as possible. Okay. Because then I'm going to say, Hey, if you'd like a copy of my book, Hey, give me your, your, your personal address. Okay. Here's your business card. Great. Give me your personal address and I'll send you a copy of my book. What am I going to do after that? I'm going to send them a copy of the book and I'm going to follow up with a telephone call or two or three days after I know that they've received it. Because now we want to have a further and deeper conversation with that person. This is a way to supercharge your networking with people, okay? Supercharge. Because if you can send out five or six or seven books, it'll cost you $15 to send out five or six or seven books and then have 
you know, seven meaningful conversations with potential clients that have a copy of your best selling book in their hands and see you as the credible expert that can help them. Let me tell you something, you're going to close some deals that way, way more than if you just went to a networking event and exchanged business cards that you never followed up with. Okay. So is that inexpensive? It's dirt cheap. You go to networking, and it might only cost you 15 or 20 bucks, and you have some amazing and meaningful conversations. That's super cheap way number one. Super cheap way number two is through referrals in your current database of clients. So again, I told you, to print something like this is only $2.50, $3, something like that. So the question you need to ask yourself is, does every single one of my past clients have a copy of my best-selling book? Every single one of them. We well, say, Rob, they're already my clients. Why, why do I care if they have a copy of my book? They've already given me money. Well, it's simple because those people that, are, that have already given you money and that are happy with the services that you provided are your absolute best source of potential referrals in the future. So what do you want to do? You want to get a copy of your book. And look, this is something that we have. We have. I have bunches of copies of my clients' books. I mean, we have hundreds of copies of my clients' books. Why? Because we send them out to potential clients as well as to past clients to A, remind them of the stuff that we do, and B, remind them that, you know what? Maybe you know somebody that is a coach. And we just did this really cool book for Taki Moore called Million Dollar Coach. And here's all the success that he achieved with it. Do you know anybody in the coaching business that might have an interest in doing a book just like you did? So in the same way, every single one of your past clients needs to have at least one and potentially two or three copies of your book because you want them to be giving your book out to other people that are just like them that already paid you money to do whatever service or thing that you did. Does that make sense? So every single past client of yours needs to have a copy of your book and you need ideally to have some type of system where you're following up with them on a regular basis, making sure that they're happy with the services that you provide, but also asking them, hey, uh, we just did this really cool book. Do you know anybody like this kind of person that might be a good referral for us and for our team? Now I'm talking about books, but you know, you talk about whatever your thing is. You're a coach and you might say, Hey, I'm sending you a copy of my best selling book because there's a couple of cool stories in here that made me think of you. And I wanted to put it in your hand because I thought maybe you might know somebody in this situation or this situation or this situation that would like a copy of, of the book. And I just want you to have a few copies, just give them away to whoever you think could be a, a good referral, but do me this one favor. Let me know who you're giving it to. And if they're willing, I'd be happy to have a conversation with them or at least engage them in email. In other words, a systematic way to, to use your current client base to get your book out into people's hands that could be your potential customers as well. That's super cheap way. Number two, by the way, if you're not doing these easy things, then why spend all the time to write a book, right? These are easy things to do. Have a conversation, you know, offer the book for free, get the book into your past client's hands. If you're not doing them, you need to start doing them. I guarantee you, guarantee you, if you do these things, you will make money from it. You will. People will want to do business with you. Way number three is positioning with anybody that is currently interested in your products or services right now. Okay, so in that room over there, you probably can't see it, but we have my author development coaches and every single day I use paid advertising to fill their schedules. We get 10, 20, as many as 50 full applications every single day with our paid traffic um, advertising on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, et cetera. And every single day, we have conversations with people that would be a potentially great fit to become a client of ours. Those people are coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, experts of some kind, brick and mortar business owners, financial advisors, doctors, dentists, et cetera. So when we get on the telephone with a coach, and that coach is telling us about why they want a book and, and what they're trying to do with their book, What's something that we can do immediately? Well, I'll tell you what. We immediately have a conversation with them. We tell them 
We answer their questions. We help them as much as we can. But then we send them one of our client's books in the mail. Like if they're a coach, I might send them a copy of Taki Moore's book and say, you know, we did this book for Taki. And in the first three months, Taki did over $350,000 in income. He generated uh, 60,000 income in the writing process of this book. And I wanted you to see the great quality of this book that we did. So I'm sending this to you with a little handwritten personal note and I'll follow up in a few days, right? What else do we do? Well, if that person is um, a fitness professional of some kind, then we might send them this book. If that person is a speaker of some kind, then we might send them this book that uh, Dustin Matthews and Dan Kennedy did. Uh, if that person is a financial advisor, we might send them this book. Again, what we're doing is we're showing them that we have expertise in this area to help them. Now, here's the cool thing for you. You don't need dozens of copies of dozens of different, you know, clients because, you know, I work in dozens of different industries. You work in your industry, right? You're a financial advisor. So all you need is your financial advice book. And so when you have a conversation, you have some type of sales process that you put people through, right? So when you have a great conversation with that potential client and you put them through the sales process, do this, slow down the process and say, unless they're ready to get started right away. And if they're ready to get started right away, take the money, right? But if they're not for some reason, then say, let me do this because this conversation has triggered a couple things in my mind. Like for example, you, you mentioned this, this, and this, and I actually talk about those things on page 77 or an 82, or I can't remember what page it is, but I'm going to go ahead and send you a copy of my book and, and you put a little sticky note on it and you mention the page numbers that they need to look at, but I want to send you a copy of my book so you can see how we solve these problems for other clients. You send them a copy of your book and let me tell you what you've done. You have framed yourself with that person as an expert. You positioned yourself as an authority they might not have even known that you wrote a best-selling book on the topic. And now if you did a good job on the book and you need to do a good job on your book, then they're going to have your high quality book in their hands and they're going to go to page 77 first and they're going to read a story about somebody that you helped in some massively way, massive way that is just like them. And they're going to put themselves in that person's position, in that person's shoes and say, why wouldn't I deal with Rob? Why wouldn't I deal with Jacqueline? Why wouldn't I deal with Ted? Why wouldn't I deal with Jill, right? Why wouldn't I deal with Joe or Frank or Jane or Lynn? Of course I'm going to because look, they're, they're the authority on it. They did this. If you're not already using your book to position yourself with your prospects, people that are already interested in your services, then you're missing out on closing twice to three times as many leads. If, if right now you're only closing, you know, one out of five, then you will easily close two or three out of five by just adding this one element, getting your best-selling book into somebody else's hands. So every single prospect conversation you need, you have. Now you may have a prospect conversation with someone and say, you know what, they're not really fit to work with me. Then, then refer them to someone else, right? I'm not talking about someone that's not a fit to work with you. Unless of course, you want to use them as a referral source like you're doing with your past clients, but let's not complicate it. If it's somebody that you're speaking to that's a prospect and you want to do business with them, get your book in their hands for free as quickly as possible. Follow up with another phone call and close the deal. It's not more complicated than that. Now there's two more expensive ways to grow your business. And I'm not going to talk about those because I wanted to talk about inexpensive ways but they are things that can exponentially increase your business. I'm talking tenfold, fiftyfold, a hundredfold. And those two things are speaking engagements and paid advertising. Paid advertising like Facebook traffic, Instagram, Google AdWords, YouTube, et cetera. We spend about $1,000 a day on traffic sources. And we do that because we make five to 10x the return on investment by doing that. Now, there are a lot of other moving parts you need to have in place, but it's something that you can and should figure out, okay? 
because you're not going to be able to, now you may be happy with having a business that's doing 500,000 to a million bucks and it's just you and a, an assistant or, or two and, and you do your networking and referrals and great, fantastic, that's great. You can do a million bucks a year with a book with a couple of really simple processes like I outlined. But if you want to go to two and five and 10 and beyond, then you are going to have to figure out things like speaking engagements and paid traffic and advertising. Anyway, if you're interested in that stuff, hey, give me a comment on Facebook. Let me know what you're interested in. I'll try to answer it um, and uh, I'll try to give you some more information and content. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Use your book. If you haven't got your book done, what are you waiting on? I mean, how much money have you lost waiting on doing your book? Do your book for crying out loud. Uh, and if you want some help, then Best Seller Publishing is happy, more than happy to help you in any way because that's what we do. Anyway, you guys are great. Have a great day and I am signing off. Awesome. Great, so I just ended my Facebook Live. I went a little longer than I normally do, but let me just go ahead and post it and we'll run some traffic to it as well and see if anybody is interested in it with the traffic. So let's see, I am gonna put a link in there to my strategy session application. Why? Because people that have looked at my content and then filled out a strategy session application are people that are really good prospects for us. So let's see, for, for more info, go to, bam, awesome, great. All right, so let me go back. Here we are, I'm back to my Zoom call. How are you guys? Looks like we got 33 of you on today. That's pretty cool, glad to see that. And I got a bunch of questions, so let me dive in with the questions. And if the questions are related to the topic I shared about, great, if not, that's totally cool too. Happy to answer anything. Ryan says, this is good stuff. Any advice on free book plus shipping to an audio book and PDF to a value video to a sales call? <laughs> Looking to get that started this week. Dang, Ryan, you are, uh, you are a hard worker. So, um, so let me share this. Um, right now, our, my entire process uh, is basically free thing to sales call, to close, right? Um, the only thing I'd share is what you're looking to do, free book, free plus shipping offer, audio, value video, sales call, is a little overkill if your only desire is the sales call, okay? Uh, what Russell did with his funnel for Expert Secrets and for Dotcom Secrets, both of which we uh, helped him launch and also uh, he paid us to do PR and stuff for Expert Secrets. What he did was he was not worried about the sales call. So he did free book, two, uh, free plus shipping, shipping plus audio version, plus I think two other upsells, one at 197 and one at $1,000. Because all he was looking to do with his free plus shipping funnel was sell click funnels. If what you're primarily looking to do is get on a sales call, then you don't need to go free plus shipping, audio book, value video, sales call. You can literally go free plus shipping to sales call. Because if somebody has raised their hand and said, I want your book, you know, I want million dollar decision so much so that I'm willing to pay $6.95 shipping for it, then I would take that person immediately into some type of, of video offering a strategy session call. So why don't I share my screen and I'll give you an example of what some of our stuff looks like where we do this, uh, if you're interested in that. And if not, I guess I'm gonna share it anyway, because someone else may. So, so let me just share you some of our strategy session funnels. Bear with me a second while I look this up. So I'll use the, the Shanda case study funnel. And let me share my screen. Hang on a sec. All right, sharing my screen. Uh, of course, that's not what I was looking for. That's actually Shanda's funnel. So here's Shanda's opt-in. So, so we have an ad that is basically um, how Shanda used her best-selling book that we did for her to generate 11,572 leads and $409,000 in just a few months. 
someone clicks this and says, man, I want the case study, not even a free book. In this case, it's just value added video. Someone says, man, I really want that. So they put their name and email address in, and then they go to this page. And this page is fulfilling on the promise. It gives them the video right there. And right here, it asks them a few questions to see if they're interested in a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with my team. Now, there's more content on this page. There's testimonial videos from Kevin Harrington of Shark Tank, uh, Delana Lewis, a former U.S. ambassador to South Africa, CEO of, of NPR, National Public Radio. There's information about uh, our entire program. There's case studies on, you know, people that have been successful. So there's more content. But ideally, they came in to see Shanda's video, how she's doing it. And we asked them right on the spot, hey, do you want a telephone call with our team? This is as simple as can be. And immediately, uh, people are given the option to opt in and, and fill out the form. We, we spend doing some version of this or some version of book to uh, immediate application uh, to drive all of our strategy session calls. So my suggestion to you would be if your primary purpose is to get a sales call, then get them, get them to the application as quickly as possible. Opt-in, and then on the opt-in um, thank you page, it's, hey, you opted in for uh, my free book or my free case study video or my free thing. Uh, and so that's coming to you in the next five minutes but I wanted to share with you X, Y, and Z. Offer them a little bit more value and say, hey, if you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one call to discuss whether or not these things might be able to help you, then fill out the application right on this page and you'll be put into my schedule or into my author development coach's schedule to have that one-on-one -on -one call. So in other words, as soon as they opt in to whatever your thing is, and certainly if, if they're paying you money and pulling out their credit card, then take them right to the offer for the call. Um, all the other stuff, the audio version of the book, uh, any kind of upsells or other value videos, only do that if you're trying to sell products or something. Um, and that's good to do too. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, don't try to do two things at once is the point. So let me go off of there. Hopefully that's helpful to you. If not, do me a favor and just type in what other questions you might have. And I'm happy to answer those. Uh, Cord says, any suggestions on raising capital to get books printed? Strategy was to publish the ebook and get 500 to 1,000 reviews, then do a Kickstarter. Um, so, Cord, um, raising capital to get books printed. So, I, I don't know that there's a reason to do that. Um, you can do print on demand, and you only need to print the books that are already sold. So, CreateSpace does print on demand. I I've talked to people that have a thousand. I talked to somebody who had 8,000 books in his garage. Why would someone have 8,000 books in their garage? I'll, I'll tell you, it's very easy. Because if you go through one of these traditional self-publishing companies, their whole monetization schedule and strategy is to get you to buy books because they don't sell you the book at cost. So you have to buy the book for $5 or $6. They're printing it for $2 or $2.50, and then they're making the, the, the spread. They're making the difference. So I talked to a guy at 8,000 books in his garage, and he was wondering how I might be able to help him. I'm like, you know, dude, I, I don't think I can help you um, because really it's not about the book. It's about what the book leads to you and what you can, what you can do to make money from that. So, you know, there are several things that I'm not sure about your strategy. Uh, 500 to 1,000 reviews would be amazing. So that I say it, to get 500 reviews, you will probably need 50,000 plus sales to get that many reviews, uh, unless you are doing some type of really hardcore review strategy, and you're still going to need 5, 10, 15,000 sales to get 500 reviews. My first book has been sold about 35,000 times, and I have like 60 reviews. Now, I don't pay any attention to it. I'm not trying to get more reviews on it, but so if, if your strategy is to get 500 reviews, how are you going to do it? You know, like what exactly are you going to do to do that? You need tens of thousands of sales to get that many reviews. You don't need that many. And then the Kickstarter you're, you're saying comes after that. I would actually probably change everything around 
uh, we have a training. If you're in the, um, if you're in BSP and you are because you're on this call, uh, we have a training in the membership area uh, on how one of our clients, uh, I'm looking for a book, but I don't have it, how she used, her name's Mia Moran, how she used Kickstarter to raise 60 grand. And it's a training on everything that she did. I would suggest if Kickstarter is your goal, then go through that training first and, uh, and then learn everything you can and implement it. Start there and then worry about the reviews and everything after. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Naomi says, to mail a book in Canada cost me $12. Whoa. So to give my book for free isn't a low cost. I don't have a current client base. Um, $12 in Canada? I mean, that's, I've never heard that before. That is outrageous. Um, I mean, you can mail a book in the U.S. for a buck, less than a buck. Honestly, it's just a matter of paying the postage. So you're saying the postage. I'm not talking about like express mail or something like that. You're saying the postage is 12 bucks. I, um, sorry to hear that. That's uh, enormously expensive. I, I can tell you this, we mail to Canada cheaper than that uh, from the US. So maybe you might wanna look at getting a, a US um, shipping service to actually mail your books for you. It might be a lot cheaper to do it that way rather than mailing in Canada. But I'm not an expert on the shipping part of it. I only know it only cost us a buck or so to ship here in the United States. So as far as not having a current client base, if you don't have current clients, then you know your first problem is, okay, who do I serve and how do I get a customer, right? Um, you know, because that's, a, that's gonna be a bigger issue than uh, I don't know who to, who to sell the book to or give the book away. So if you already have a book, maybe you wanna start using the book in networking groups to attract a, a, a client to you initially. That's probably your first step. Uh, Cord says, what about create, or Bill says, what, Cord, what about create space? So, yep, create space is what you want to use. Bill says, do you mean for collateral after launch? I have a Kickstarter for printing funds going on now, but it's for an art book. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what they meant exactly. That could be, you don't need a Kickstarter for printing books. You want a Kickstarter to, to raise money, to make some money, right? Um, you know, to get attention to your project and also to sell other things. Again, go through Mia's training. Me and I did it, it's in the membership area. I think it'll be really helpful to you. Tiffany says, hi, can someone please send me the coaching call schedule? I missed it. Uh, Rob, I was at the Zone event. Tiffany, it's really easy. It's every Tuesday at this time. That's it, that's the schedule. It's every Tuesday at noon Pacific, okay? Uh, I don't do every call. But uh, I am doing, uh, you know, several of these calls in a row. So every Tuesday at noon Pacific, 3 o'clock Eastern, that's when the calls are. Uh, Naomi just said that. Thank you, Naomi, for saying that. Court says, my book is Children with Superhero Confidence. Cool book. It's an interactive workbook that will make parents aware how they may cause their children self-limiting beliefs. I know I can get 500 reviews from my tribe, so I felt this was the cheapest way for me to get started. I'm releasing... Uh, my book this week. That's great. So you said you, I thought you mentioned Cord that you don't have any current clients. Um, so maybe I was thinking so that's, that's somebody else. Okay. That's somebody else. That was Naomi. So that's cool. You obviously have a big tribe. Um, I would probably say this. Uh, no, I, I will say this. How about that? <laughs> Not probably. So that's very wishy-washy. So let me say this. The goal with your book is to build authority, credibility, even celebrity, so that it leads to the next thing, right? Um, you know, when I, when I did my first book, and I didn't share this on the Facebook Live, but I wrote my first book 10 years ago, and eventually I started using my book on radio. All I did was offer my book for free on radio. It was a financial advice book. And I said, if people called into the radio station, because I did live radio, then I would give them a book for free. And uh, if they just called my office, I would send them a book for free. Why did I do that? Because I was trying to sell my six to $10,000 thing, not my free book, not, not my $20 book, even if I offered it for 20 bucks. I wanted six grand, not $20. So what we learned is that every 16 books we put in someone, someone's hands meant uh, a, 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 six, a new $6,000 client into my company. So if you're saying that you can get 500 reviews from your tribe, 
um, then I would say, gosh, how many of those people might want the book, offer you the review, but also that might lead to a strategy call. If you're in Chanda's group, they call them iSolves, an iSolve call, which then can become a client worth two, five, or ten thousand dollars. So I would not just make it about reviews because ultimately it's not about reviews, right? Like we have to get reviews out of the gate. We want to, but what it's really about is using the book to further your message, your celebrity, your authority, so that you can grow your business and grow your, your platform. That's really what it's about. So if you have a big enough platform now to get 500 reviews, start using your book to monetize it in other ways. That's my suggestion. Hey, and if you can do both those things at the same time, that's even better. Ryan says, good stuff, keep it simple, done, love it. Uh, Cord says, amazing, what website? Uh, I've already forgotten, Cord, what, what we're talking about, because that was like four people ago. <laughs> do me a favor, ask specifically what website you're asking about. If you're asking about the Kickstarter training, then that's in our membership area. And if you're a member, which you must be to be on this call, then you have access to all of our training stuff. Uh, so it's in there. Uh, and it's un listed under Kickstarter training. Uh, Naomi says, now that you showed how someone picks your book, uh, but how do you set that up? Mm, don't totally understand, but it looks, maybe there's a second part of your question. The postage is me going to the post office, so maybe you have a way to get the shipping cheaper when someone clicks on where they pay for shipping. You know, perhaps I, I would certainly look to fulfillment companies, Naomi, um, to maybe outsource some of this stuff because that's ridiculous. I mean, I've never heard it cost that much. Like I said, it's a buck here in the U.S. Uh, you keep mentioning the membership area, so not sure how to get on that website to see the membership area, as when I click the account only shows one area to go on your call. So um, email Naomi or anybody else that doesn't know about the membership area. Email Rebecca. I'm going to put this in the, in the um, um, chat area. It's Rebecca at bestsellerpublishing.org. And ask her to resend your uh, membership stuff, and she'll resend that out to you. It might have gone to spam when, um, you, know, when you originally um, got it. Ryan says, okay, one more thing. Is there a way Create Space or another company will do order fulfillment about to jump on your ClickFunnels this week? So, yes, it's not um, – you can't do it through Create Space. You have to do it through a fulfillment company, Ryan. Uh, my suggestion is disc.com. I'll put that in the area here too, disk.com. Joe Foley is the CEO of disc.com. He's a good friend of mine. You can ask for him personally. I don't get anything from it, so I just refer because they're really good. There are other companies that do fulfillment as well, but Joe, Joe will take care of everything. He'll, he'll send it out. He'll print it if you wanted to print it, everything. It might be cheaper to have it printed elsewhere depending on how many you're going to do but have a specific fulfillment company do that. CreateSpace will not handle fulfillment. You need a company like dis.com to do it. Um, Carl says, Cord, your book seems fantastic. Please add me to your tribe. Love that. And by the way, Cord, it does, whoops, it does seem fantastic. I love the, the topic. So um, Cord, is there a way that people can get more information about your book? Do you want to just type in your email address in the chat area? And, um, and then anybody else that, or, or your web address, and they can go and opt in, that kind of thing. Um, so that's great. Mika says, does this work the same for fiction? So yes and no, Mika, it doesn't, nothing works the same for fiction because primarily what fiction authors are trying to do is sell their book because you don't have a bunch of other stuff that you can sell. Um, so here's what I suggest to fiction authors. Your goal is twofold. Your goal is to sell your book, but your goal is also to build a platform and an email following of people. You want as many email addresses as possible. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to write volumes of content. Okay, if you're selling something for 20 bucks, as opposed to me selling something for 25,000, then you need to sell a thousand more things than me to make the same amount of money. Okay, just the bottom line. So if you need to sell a thousand more things than me to make the same amount of money, then you need a big list. And guess what? You need more things to sell. So what do great fiction authors do? 
They write new books constantly. Every six months, they're coming out with a new book. Every year, they're coming out with a new book. They have volumes of content. How many books has Stephen King written? And, and he is the legend. He's the master of, of doing it. So, so you need volumes and volumes and volumes of material. You need someone to buy volume one and then buy book two, book three, book four, book six, book 11. They need to come in and buy book six and say, I loved it. I'm going to buy books one through five, right? So, and you need an email uh, address from them so that you can continue when you launch new books, let them know, hey, I have a new book coming out and then you can boom, send, click one button and get a thousand sales, et cetera. So some things are the same, some things are different. Um, you need two things. You need volumes of content and you need to build your email list your, which is your platform, so that you can, in, in essence, have your own distribution channel set up. Hopefully that helps. Um, Court said, I, I think I was thinking too much about Amazon sales. Okay, thanks for help. Print on demand website. Yep, create space for print on demand. Um, Bill says, Ryan, I just bought the book as gift. I, ju I just buy the book as gifts and send the client. So you can do that. Um, you, can, you can even set up on Amazon um, you know, some type of, of coupon code or thing where you can buy the book and, and have Amazon and CreateSpace print it and ship it. It might be a little bit more expensive than just doing it, it yourself. But Bill, what you're talking about is a little different than what Ryan is talking about. Ryan is talking about having an automated funnel that he's driving traffic to. And potentially there are dozens of people every day that are doing this. So it's really difficult you know, to kind of manually do this. So if you're talking, Ryan, about having bunches and bunches and bunches of people to opt in and go through your funnel, you know, like, like Russell for his book, I think sold like 50,000 copies in the first month. He didn't do the fulfillment himself. He had a fulfillment company do all this and it was totally automated. So if you're talking about big numbers, maybe not as big as Russell's, but, but bigger numbers, where you don't want to do it all yourself in your own office, et cetera, then a disc.com comes in handy. Um, otherwise, it's a little bit too, um, too challenging to do it yourself. Hopefully, that's helpful. Uh, I put disc.com in there. Uh, Cord gave um, your email address, cord.angelucci at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. It's my calling. Awesome. So if someone wants to get in your tribe or get a copy of the book or whatever, then, then they can go there. Feel free, by the way, anybody that has a book that's coming out and you want book reviews, you can post in the membership area. All that I ask is this, don't spam it. Um, post one time and look to do um, review exchanges with other authors in the, in the, in the group. So, so post your book and a link to your book and, and then post below it. Anybody that, that purchases uh, my book for 99 cents, because I would, I would suggest you do the ebook version of it, make it cheap for your fellow authors, uh, and offers me a review, I will gladly do that for yours. So just, you know, type in below your Amazon link, and we'll do a review exchange. So um, use the, the group. There are hundreds of people in there. It's pretty active, and I'm more than happy for you guys to do it. Just don't want you to spam it. I don't want you to list your book over and over and over again. That's not the purpose of it. Um, Tiffany says, hi, ladies of the group. I have a speaking opportunity for women who already have an audience. Message me if interested. Info at peaceloveandwine.com. That's great, Tiffany. Uh, peace, love, and wine. Uh, I feel a little left out. Um, ladies of the group, uh, come on. Uh, I was at Shanda's event, and there were 700 people there, and 680 of them were women. I loved it. Uh, and it went really good for me and for my company. So, <laughs> by the way, this weekend for anybody that's in Los Angeles is the Los Angeles Women's Conference at the Los Angeles Convention Center. There's going to be like twenty to thirty thousand women there. I am speaking on Sunday um, to that group, uh, and we have a booth set up. So, if any of you are in LA and you want to come to that, um, please do come by, and, and you guys can say hi to us and our team. It'll be really fun. Um, Cord says, um, sorry, this is a better email, superheroconfidence at gmail.com. So use that one, superheroconfidence at gmail.com. Tiffany says, Rob, you can speak if you bring Rebecca <laughs> on to. I'm sure we can figure something out. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, Issa says, awesome. Thank you. Bill says, understood. Um, 
Uh, Lindian says, um, but Amazon uh, reviews trade removes trade reviews. So, so Lindian, yes, uh, Amazon's algorithm will try to do that. But here's the bottom line: they don't catch them all. So Amazon's algorithm, um, you know, may catch a third or or who knows. But it's still worth it if you get ten reviews out of the group and you do review exchanges, you're gonna get five, six, seven of them to stick. So it's worth it, in my opinion, to, to do that kind of thing. Um, you can also do a round robin, but that's even more complicated. What we found is that it's worth it just to get as many reviews as you can, even if you do a review exchanges, a good number of those reviews will stick. So anyway, you're 100% you're right, right. Amazon does try with its algorithm to remove those, but you know, Amazon is gigantic and all of this is done in an automated fashion. It's not done manually. Um, Cord says, amazing value, Rob. So thankful. You're super welcome. Thank you for, for saying that. Um, that's all I have. And I don't, it doesn't look like there are any other questions. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me mention two things. Um, for those of you that are our done for you clients, um, and I, I see a bunch of you on here. I always see Brenda. Hi, Brenda. I love you. You're amazing. We are going to have our client only event, um, which is going to be a, a fairly small event. And I'm trying to determine some dates before the end of the year. So four to six weeks out. So any of you that are our done for you clients, in other words, you know, we're doing the, go it's not our, you bought our info product and you're doing it yourself, but we're actually doing your book or we're doing your book launch, et cetera. For those of you that are in that situation, um, I'd love your feedback on dates. I'm thinking it's gonna be a, th a Thursday, excuse me, a Friday and a Saturday. It'll be small. There'll be maybe 10, 15, 20 of us, boardroom style. And I'm gonna go into depth on a lot of the things that I shared today, how to use your, it's all gonna be after the book stuff. It's gonna be about using your book to really blow up your business paid traffic stuff, webinar stuff, speaking engagements, all of that. So I'd love your feedback on potential availability. I'm actually thinking the week after Thanksgiving. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm a little bit scared about those dates because I want participation. That's number one. Number two, for those of you that are in the, the bestseller publishing program where you're doing it all yourself and you're getting our help like on these calls and our content, I am doing a million dollar author summit, which is for you. The million dollar author summit is generally about 50 to 70 people. So it's small. It's me the entire time. And the dates are December 8th and 9th. It's at the Weston LAX. And all of you are invited. You have free tickets to it. That was part of the bonus for those of you that uh, joined that part of the program. So it's December 8th and 9th, which is a Friday and a Saturday. Uh, it's completely free to you. The only thing that there is an expense for is we have a, a basically like a VIP upgrade for $97 that is basically dinner with me and the team. And we don't make any money on it. It, it always costs us more than a hundred bucks per person. Who knows why? It's probably because we drink a lot at it. I don't know why, <laughs> but you know, the wine flows and we have a really good time and it's, so any of you that are interested in that and a couple of you are like, Issa says, sign me up, et cetera. Um, and yes, I do record those for people that can't attend. But for those of you that can, um, we're going to start to make phone calls and send emails out. So what I'd love for those of you that, that want to be a part of it um, and are committed to be, being a part of it, because we do cap it at like 70 people. So we, if you're out of town, we want like travel information and all that stuff. Just We don't ask for any money from you, but we just want to know that you're actually going to come. Um, then um, what I'd love for you, and, and a couple of you are, are messaging in right now, do me a favor, um, just to keep it simple, um, shoot me like a Facebook message or an email or something uh, that you guys are, are interested in coming to that and that you want to come to that. And in fact, here's what I'll do. Um, do me a favor, go to the Facebook group right after this. I will post immediately after this um, something about the Million Dollar Author Summit and just post there that you're interested in coming and, uh, and then you know the team will get in contact with you and just give you all the details. But it's a Weston LAX, it's December 8th and 9th, which is Friday and Saturday, uh, VIP dinner is Friday night. Um, and like I said, the client only event, Scott, I saw what you just said, 
December 1st and the 2nd sounds good to you for the Dunphy event. Awesome. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be a small event, very, very focused on the monetization piece. So um, I'd love to hear from you guys as well as to dates that you think would, would be best for you. Um, Ryan says, I'll work on getting a client speaking engagement in LA that week. Awesome. That's smart, man. That's right. Make some money while you're out here. So that's all I have. Bill says, thank you. You're super welcome. Thanks for your, your attention. Do me a favor. Go to the Facebook group right after this, the, the bestseller mastermind group, uh, and just let me know, yes, you're interested. Yes, you're interested, et cetera. And, uh, and what works for you. Pia says the first and the second work. So that's good. So Pia, um, Scott, and I don't know that anybody else gave me dates um, that work for the client only event. Let me know if either of those work, you know, if any of those dates work for you, Brenda, or anybody else that's on here. And everybody else, Million Dollar Author Summit, those of you that, that are doing your book and your book launch and your PR and all that stuff on your own, um, that is December 8th and 9th. It's a Friday and Saturday. Okay. So thanks so much. You guys are terrific. This has all been recorded. So it'll be in the membership area for if you missed any part of it, don't worry about it. And uh, I will happily see you guys next week. Have a great week.